Stress Drunk. Hey, welcome back to Stress Drunk Plays Robotrack. I am diligently checking absolutely everything in this room so I can freaking find what I'm supposed to do next. What is this again? Oh, yeah. Let's avoid this guy. Oh, wow. I thought that would be a battle. It was not. There is nothing in here. Can I take a nap? So I like it in RPGs when you can just... I think Chrono Trigger does this. Um, what other games do this? Some other games do that, where you can climb into any bed and you can replenish your health. Of course, I don't have to worry about my character's health. It's the robots. and Robots don't sleep. Or do they? No. I, I, that's a serious question. Do robots... I don't know. That's, I don't want to get too philosophical. Let's check out... Uh, Let's not edit out these en- Oh, this is a new enemy right here. It's a uh, Illus Smoke. And he did not last long, but I missed the ho-ho somehow. And yeah, his attack is pretty good. That's what sucks about these battles. You just, you're just left sitting there. Uh, what do I do? There we go. All right, level up to level 10. So that should be 10 more points for each robot. And I don't really have anything special to uh, apply. Let's uh, actually, before I do maintenance, I can actually expand the hit points and then do maintenance. That would be the smart thing, right? I think, I guess. Eh, whatever, that looks good. Keep them as a kind of a balanced but uh, with a lot of power. With him, I want to increase the two strengths, which are guard and charge. And we're good. I suppose I could make the third robot pretty much any time I wanted to now, but I don't know. Don't really need to yet. And yes, you, you can only make three, unfortunately. It'd be pretty cool if you could make like a ton and have like, you know, swap them out. That would be kind of like a next generation version of this game. Oh yeah, since I leveled up to level 10, I can go up here now to uh, the book here if I'm going to have to fight this guy though. Might as well just leave it in. Whatever. Sick of editing, folks. Not going to lie to you. Let's just use a bomb. Good. Get out of my way. And there we go. Shield 3. I'm going to have to apply that to uh, give that to Leonard eventually and increase his uh, his uh, defense. See when it... Oh, that sucks. But when a capsule is in your range like that, I recommend going for it. And, uh, and then attacking. So it looks like I got poisoned here. And if I haven't shown that off yet, it's obviously just like any other status. I, don't, I honestly don't remember if I've shown this off yet. You go to uh, your items like this and use clean. And I'm also going to use a cure because his hit points are pretty low. So now that I learned that ability, I only need one more level before I can before I can get to uh, learn all the abilities I can learn here. Drunk got clean. Good for him. I know, I've said that a million times. Out of my way, please. I might as well just go see what's down here. Uh, nothing is down here. It feels like the front door should be right there, but it's not. Kind of weird. Get rid of that guy, and... Here. That's good. Let's uh, see what's in this door. The hell is that thing? Frog robot? Goofy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's talking about Rask. The, my ancestor or whatever. And I don't think I look like him, but if you say I do. And sure, there's a sword too on this grave here. Why not? 
Is there anything else in here? Anything at all? It feels like there should be more in here. Why would this robot be in here? And why would he have all this crap to say about nothing in particular? Nothing at all, really? Nothing. Okay. Whatever. Sneak by this guy, and there's nothing else on the floor here. I'm not sure what it, the significance of that. Uh, I'm not sure of the significance of a lot of things in this game. <laughs> if you like feeling lost, then this might be the game for you. And uh, oh, I haven't explored this yet, and it's another empty bedroom. Sweet. I think, did I already go to that bedroom? I honestly don't remember. It looked exactly like the other ones. I, I'm getting mixed up. <laughs> and yeah, Larry took a uh, beating in that fight. Get these things out of the way here. Oh, there's another door over here. Cool. Oh, I'm back with the doll and all that. Can I go back in? No, I can't. Shit. You gotta go all the way back around if you wanna go back in there? God damn. So, what do I do now? <laughs> do I go back to bed? Is there anything new if I go back to sleep? Okay, the answer is no. I'm not going to make you watch the dream sequence again. Because <laughs> it's the exact same thing. That's so dumb. Ugh. This game has its... I've said this a million times already, but... There's good things about this game, but there's definitely flaws. That's for damn sure. Okay, so I... Uh, pretty lost. I'm not sure what to do. Not going to lie to you. Obviously, I already got that. Okay. I've been lost plenty of times, though. I remember um, I went to Europe. My only trip to Europe, I went to... Um, what is this again? Oh, yeah. I was... Uh, it was like my third day in Switzerland, in uh, Lucerne. Around the la We were staying around the lake, uh, my mother and I. And um, I was feeling pretty confident about where I was and, uh, what you know, just, just finding my way around. I'm the type of person that loves to wander around aimlessly. In, in real life, just like in video games. But uh, I ended up taking a wrong turn. Oops. There must be something up here. Okay, let's let this guy get out of the way. But yeah, I was feeling pretty comfortable. I decided to take a walk. I took a wrong turn. I t took the wrong turn at Albuquerque, as Bugs Bunny would say. I ended up on this hillside away from the city uh, next to this neighborhood like soccer thing. And, of course, the clouds darken, everything comes together, and um, or, uh, the clouds come in, it starts hailing. I'm out by myself, I'm 18 years old, I have no money, I can't speak the language, and or anything like that. And, uh, yeah, that was probably the scariest experience of my life, to be honest with you. Didn't know what I was going to do. Don't tell me this dog can climb this chain down, because that's the only other way you, you can get this dog down here. Oh, come on. Are you serious? That's a ripoff. Well, at least I can progress with the game now. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Anyway, yeah, when um, I'll never forget going to uh, uh, asking for help. These kids. Um, oh, there he goes. These kids, uh, just the look on, of horror on their faces. I was like, does anybody speak English? And they were just like, ah, and ran in the house. It was funny. Well, where are you going? <laughs> wah, wah. She runs into the wall, because she's goofy. <laughs> no. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't stand up too quickly there, dude. It's gonna hurt your hip again. Your hip is still drunk? <laughs> I've received the light. 
Sounds like some kind of religious proclamation. Anyway, to finish the story... Okay. Room in the West Hall. What, what do you have to say? I'll finish the story some other time. We're coming up on... Uh, okay, the West Hall. Gotta remember that. We're coming up at the end of the episode here. Basically, uh, I got lost in Lucerne, Switzerland. A lady that understood English laughed at me. And um, let's help equip the light here. And uh, she bought me a bus ticket back into town. But we'll talk about that next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.